hello everyone uh, uh, and today i'm going to explain you all about uh, ds before knowing about ds uh, let us know about uh, facial cipher structure uh, it is a, it is not a specific scheme of block cipher but it is a design model from which many different block ciphers are derived so it is divided it is devised from the host feastel it is based on concept of in, invertible product cipher so <coughs> So here, partitions and input blocks are into two, uh, made into two halves. Uh, here is the diagram. Here, if you see, the input block to each round is divided into two halves. That can be de denoted as uh, L and R for the left hand and the right right half uh, respectively. So in each round, the right half of the block R goes uh, goes through unchanged, but the left half L goes through an operation that depends on R and the encryption key K1. So first we apply an uh, encryption function F that takes two inputs, the key K and R. So and then the function produces the output F of R comma K. <clears throat> then we XOR the output of the mathematical function with L. In real implementation of the Feastel cipher such as DES, Instead of using the whole encryption key during each round, a round dependent key that is a sub key is derived from the encryption key. So like uh, this means that uh, each round uses a different key, although uh, all these sub keys are related to the original key. Like and also the permutation step at the end of each round swaps the modified L and unmodified R. So therefore, uh, the L for the next round will be would be of R of the current round, and uh, R for the next round will be the output L of the current round. So above uh, substitutions and permutation steps for form a round. So these number of rounds are specified by the algorithm design. It may be sixteen or uh, any number. So once the last round is completed, then the two sub <coughs> blocks L and R are concatenated concatenated in this order to form the cipher block that is this cipher text so next uh, we'll know about uh, ds basics so <clears throat> asymmetric block cipher <clears throat> asymmetric block cipher what do we mean by this uh, symmetric cipher means <clears throat> the same key is used for both encryption and decryption uh, then what is a block cipher it is uh, no, it is not going to take a bit bit by byte or byte input rather than it is going to take a group of bits as input that is uh, i'm going to repeat it again what is a block cipher it is not going to take a bit by bit or byte input rather it is going to take a group of inputs as an input sorry group of bits as an input so input means here uh, the plain text so this is actually a symmetric block cipher now the data encryption algorithm uh, was uh, adopted by National Institute of Standards and Technology in the year 1977. And I'm not going into the details of the history, uh, rather I'm going to focus on the important perspectives of DES. Uh, so this is not used nowadays because of the security vulnerabilities security vulnerabilities and it is completely replaced by AES the advanced encryption standard in the year 2001 <clears throat> so AES is uh, everywhere in today's world it is so popular because of the powerful encryption algorithm and the encryption standards as I already mentioned this is actually a block cipher so it's clear that it's not going to take one bit or one byte as an input rather it is going to take group of bits as an input so now uh, how many bits it's going to take like uh, what is the size of the plain text what is the size of the cipher text and what is the size of the key what is the size of the round key all the stuff we are going to discuss now so the input size is of uh, 64 bits so ds can encrypt 64 bits at a time here input means the plain text so these plain text size is 64 bit obviously so and the output size is also 64 bit 
So the 64 bit input is fed into the encryption algorithm and this test encryption algorithm is going to convert the 64 bit plain text into 64 bit cipher text. <clears throat> Actually the main key which is given as the input to the algorithm is of uh, 64 bits. Uh, 64, uh, 64 bit is converted into 56 bits and this is the length of the key. So we normally refer for test like we have seen in the feastal structure we have n number of rounds we have seen here we have n number of rounds so there are uh, 16 rounds in this so, so for 16 rounds we need 16 round keys uh, like you can see k1 k i k up to kn and they and uh, how these round keys are generated uh, you may get this question so these round keys are generated using this 56 bit key key length actually this 56 bit key is helping the test algorithm to generate 48 bit key algorithm okay so how many round keys 16 48 bit round keys you can see round 16 16 48 round uh, 48 bit round keys so this is the actual basics that are required for understanding the des so <clears throat> So we'll go into uh, deep into it. Uh, like we are sure that this is a block cipher. What's the size of the input and output, the plain text and the cipher text? I mean, so the input is 64 bit and also output is also 64 bit. So this is going to take a 64 bit plain text and it's going to convert this into 60 uh, into 64 bit cipher text. And that is why this is actually called as a block cipher because it is taking a group of bit, bits together so what is happening inside the encryption algorithm is if we see here um, in DES encryption algorithm 64 bit plain text is as go going to convert into uh, 64 bit uh, cipher text and this 64 bit blank text is actually given to the initial permutation permutation Initial 64 bit keys are uh, given to the per permutated, uh, permutation choice, and then <clears throat> uh, actually converted into 64. And this uh, blank text is uh, so it's clear that the 64 bit plain text is given to the initial permutation function and it gives 64 bits. Now, how many rounds are these? As I mentioned earlier, there are 64 rounds, 16 rounds in DES. So here is round one, round two, and so on until uh, round six. Now we see here for every round, 64 bits are given as the input, and the output of every round is going to be another 64 bits. That is, 60, 64 bits input is given to each round, and the output of each round is going to be 64 bits. So likewise, we are processing 64 rounds at the end of 16 round. Whatever we get this, is this their uh, cipher text? No, just to correlate correlate this in the feature structure. After completing the end rounds, whatever we get is the pre output for the next one. So it needs to be swapped again in, uh, between each rounds. So after sixteen rounds of operation, we get sixty four bits, and this sixty four bits are given to a thirty two bit swap. So swap function. So if you take this 64 bits, we can partition this into left hand side 32 bits and right hand side 32 bits. Just perform a swap. Once the 32 bits are swapped again, we'll be we'll be getting the 64 bits only because the left hand side 32 bits are going to be placed in the right hand side and uh, <clears throat> it's actually fed into the initial permutation and next uh, uh, and the right hand side is 32 bits or going to be placed in the left hand side so it's clear that the output of the 32 bit swap function is going to be 60 64 fold uh, 64 bits now this is also not the cipher text just to recollect what we did in the starting part of the encryption process the 64 bit plain text is actually fed into the initial permutation right so we need to inverse it so the output of this 32 bit swap function 32 bit uh, swap function is going to be 64 bits and these 64 bits are given to the inverse initial permutation function uh, the, the work of it is uh, it inverses and then gives 64 bits 
and these 64 bits are the cipher text bits so it's clear that 64 bits plain text in the converted into cipher 64 bit cipher text and if you see here there are 16 round as i already mentioned for each round we need round case and size of the round k is 48 bits so k1 is the round k for round 1 which is 48 bits similarly k2 is the round k for round 2 which is also 48 bits Likewise, we have 16 round keys and K16 is the round key for round 16, uh, which you can see in the diagram, uh, which is also 40. As I already mentioned in the previous slide, the size of round keys of 48 bits. But actually, this encryption algorithm starts with the 64 bit key, but the 64 bit key is actually converted into 56 bit key. And then the 56 bit key only is actually used for uh, generating the round keys, which is of 48 bits in nature. So the key length is 56 bits in the DES algorithm. So uh, let me explain you uh, with, about uh, how to use a DES cipher in a crypto tool too. So we have taken uh, text input. We have given uh, input as this is from CAS subject about DS cipher explained by a student of CSC. So this is the string decoder uh, which formats this text input which we have uh, uh, given to the input side. And uh, we have selected a text format and uh, output beta encoding is uh, ASCII. And then uh, we are sending this uh, string uh, after formatting this we are sending it to DES and uh, in, DES, in DES as we talked uh, before we need a key for uh, encrypting so we have taken uh, text input uh, to enter uh, key, uh, key input so I have taken key as this is from CS subject about DES cipher explained by CSC student and then uh, I have used a string decoder uh, to format the text input that is key key input I think I format into change it into hexadecimal and then I'll send this key into DS by taking input and uh, key input uh, uh, we have uh, decided to encrypt uh, use action encryption and next to chaining mode we have used this electronic code book you can choose anything uh, now uh, I've chosen uh, one of the four that is electronic code book and the padding mode I've chosen is zeros so now uh, when we perform this uh, we have uh, used again string decoder uh, uh, string decoder to come uh, to present the text output in uh, desired format i have selected hexadecimal format uh, maximum length is uh, given 65500 uh, so it is your wish you can give anything so when when i run this oh it takes some time so i have got some error Let's check what it is. So here we can see here the specified key is a length of 10 bytes. The DES algorithm needs a key length of 8 bytes. So we'll uh, decrease this. So I think uh, I should stop this and I'll run again. So if you see we got the output. We have no errors. So we got the output. As a... Uh, text output as in the form of hexadecimal uh, to check whether it is uh, correct or not uh, let's copy this and uh, paste it here uh, and then we'll convert uh, we'll change the action first we should stop and then we'll change the action uh, we'll uh, ask for output in the form of text we are giving the input in uh, hexadecimal form so we have converted input format to hexadecimal form uh, now we'll run this if you see we got the output as this is from CS, cis subject about des cipher explained by a student of cac so this is the way we have to use uh, uh, ds cipher in uh, crypto tool too uh, that's it for now thank you